and thanks for joining us here at Freedom Forest. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about how we use wood chip and the things that we've learned about using wood chip and our experiences. And we hope that by sharing this information, it will help you better utilize wood chips in your garden too. And what better place to talk to you than sat on a bag of wood chips. So before we get into this, one thing I would like to be really clear on is that we do not advocate or encourage the cutting down of healthy trees to generate wood chip for use in the gardens. If you are making your own wood chip, please only use wood that is dead, diseased or dying or from um, essential prunings. Now, personally, we do get our wood chips from a waste site which we obviously don't have any knowledge or control over um, why those trees have been cut down. But we do feel that this waste product is better utilised as a soil improver rather than being trucked off and used as biomass, which is what happens when the sites get inundated with wood chip if they're not used on the garden. Now, personally here at Freedom Forest, we always try and plant more trees than what we have to take down. And we do only take down trees when it is completely essential. So let's get into it and talk more about Back to Eden Gardening. So the main reasons that we use wood chip are for water retention, to suppress weeds, to improve the soil, and to improve the volume of organic matter in the soil. Wood chips soak up and hold a lot of water, which is slowly taken in by your plants. It also protects your soil from the UV rays of the sun, and it stops it drying out and cracking. As the wood chip ages, it also breaks down and creates a beautiful loamy compost layer, and the worms and the soil life love it. And it also helps to smother out weeds, which we have a lot of here at Freedom Forest. Particularly sheep sorrel is something that we are always up against in our growing beds. We also find that it helps to keep the soil temperatures up. And in the winter, it doesn't freeze so solidly as the ground, which can have huge growing benefits. There are, however, a few things that we think are really good to know before you start using wood chip on your garden. Number one, only use wood chip as a top mulch layer. Try and avoid mixing the wood chips with your soil below as much as possible, as this is what can cause nitrogen lock. So number two, wood chips are best used seasoned. So ideally, if you're gonna be mulching your gardens and growing beds, it is best to use wood chips that have sat in a pile for at least a season, at least one year, if you can. So if you're bringing in the wood chips fresh, if it is at all possible, leave them sat in a pile for as long as you can before you spread them out. If you are mulching a bigger area that's gonna be planted with perennials and trees, like a new food forest floor, for example, then fresher wood chips can be used. Number three, wood chip is best for your soil and your plants when it has the green leaves mixed in with it too, as this actually adds more nitrogen. So when we talk about wood chip, we don't just mean the bark chippings that you can buy from garden centers and stores already in bags. So you might have heard other people talking about how wood chip is really beneficial for perennial plants, but that it's not so good for annual plants. And that's because perennials prefer a fungal dominant soil, whilst annual plants prefer a bacterial dominant soil. And we do agree with this, but we also have great success growing our annuals with a wood chip mulch too. And I'm gonna share with you why I think this is. So in our No Dig Back to Eden growing system that we use here, we plant and sow with a good layer of compost just below the wood chip surface. And what this does, we believe, is allows the annual plants 
to access the bacteria that they need from the compost layer and getting their roots deep down into that really easily while still getting the benefits from the moisture and the feed that the wood chip layer on top provides. This is a bed of lettuce, coriander and parsley which I transplanted about two weeks ago into this bed with a good wood chip mulch and today I've just taken the fleece cover off and you can see that everything is growing really well and is looking really healthy and lush. And you can see that these annual broad beans are growing really happily and have germinated right up through this really deep layer of wood chip mulch that I laid on this bed back at the end of last year, so about five months ago. These kohlrabi were sown on the 21st of February and transplanted out about two weeks ago also and is another great example of an annual plant thriving with a wood chip mulch. Do we get nitrogen lock? Now this is a topic that seems to come up a lot when you're talking wood chip and the honest answer is yes we do sometimes get some nitrogen lock but not enough that it ever causes a problem. And the benefits of using wood chip far outweigh in the long term any issues that we get from nitrogen lock. Now we have generated some planting systems and methods that help us to try and avoid this as much as possible. And um, also our use of compost we believe helps combat that. And you can see how we plant and some of the methods that we use in our previous video that we made um, about wood chips, which we'll link in here. We do sometimes notice a bit of yellowing on some plants and sometimes a week or so of stunted growth shortly after transplanting. However, these issues never usually hang around long and we believe that as soon as the roots spread out a little bit more and get themselves deeper down into our compost layer, everything finds its balance and sorts itself out. And overall, we find through using the wood chip mulch, our growth and plants are lush and our harvests are bountiful and the benefits of using wood chip and the time that it saves in weeding and watering are worth sometimes the week or so that maybe we lose a little bit of growth over the whole of the growing season. Through observing how our plants respond in different environments, we actually realise that even carrots and parsnips will germinate on or under a light covering of wood chip quite happily. And we grow both of those really successfully with a deep mulch of wood chip on top. We literally only water once or twice after transplanting or sowing seeds and sometimes that can be it for the whole of the season when we've got a really deep layer of wood chip down around our plants. And that's even for big leafy hungry plants like courgettes. So using the wood chip really does save us a whole lot of time and precious water resource. Now the reason why I've come into this polytunnel is because after two years of having this horrible black plastic down, we are about to give this tunnel a no dig back to Eden makeover, which I am very excited about. So if it wasn't for this black plastic covering, this polytunnel would be completely covered with bracken and perennial weeds. But hopefully now, after two years, we've weakened them enough that a good wood chip mulch will make it manageable to deal with. And then we'll also have the benefits of less watering and better nutrition for our plants. So to recap, do layer seasoned wood chips as a top mulch on your beds. Don't dig or mix wood chip into your soil layers. Do save time and water resources by using wood chip as a mulch. Don't be afraid of nitrogen lock. Do save time weeding by using wood chip as a mulch. Do feed and improve your soil by using a wood chip mulch. Do try to get wood chips with leaves still mixed in.
don't use just bark mulch. And finally, do try Back to Eden, no dig gardening, and hopefully you'll find it as successful as we do here at Freedom Forest. We hope that you've enjoyed this video today and found it useful. Please do let us know in the comments down below and also by clicking the thumbs up button, which you'll find just below this video. Feel free to hit us up with any other questions that you have about wood chip and we will try our very best to answer them. We'll see you here again soon. Thanks for watching. Peace and plants.